creating the living, breathing, referral generating system is when a client signs loan documents, right? And there's really two ways you can do it. And then there's a little third thing you have to do on everybody. And the first way is creating a, a celebration in your office. Having the client come to your office, you set them up in a conference room, you got the notary there, you make it a big party. Uh, congratulations, you might have a closing gift. And that's one way to do it. And I like that way. It's also a beautiful time when somebody's in your office to have a computer pulled up and say, hey, would you mind leaving a Yelp review or a Zillow review for me? Of course they're gonna do it because everybody's excited. They're getting their keys that day or the next day. It's kind of like your time to shine. This is when you're the hero and you can sit there right in front of them and shake hands and everybody had a great transaction, right? Now, that's not always doable in every situation, right? I mean, that's kind of the preferred method, but if it can't work, there's a lot of variables in lending. People are busy with work. People don't always live in town, etc. That's when you can do the remote signing, which is still the same, right? You need to set this up as if they were there. You make it an event. So what I do is when somebody signs remotely, I always find out from the escrow company when they're signing. About 20 minutes later, I call that client. And I say, hey, congratulations on the signing. I know everything's done. You're going to be getting your keys today or tomorrow, whatever it is when escrow's told you. Or maybe it's next week because you're so far ahead of things. But that's when you want to reiterate, all my business is done through referral. And for my past clients or my real estate agents, and this is the key whether they sign in the office or not, right? You need to ask and say, is there a good time in two or three days from now to set up and discuss the closing. Kind of go over what you're gonna receive in the mail, what to expect as far as first payments, and set that up for a few days out. Because typically, what clients do is, they got a lot of stuff going on that first day or two after they own their house. They gotta move, they still got jobs, they got kids. So we wanna set up two or three days in advance, and we say, do you have 10 or 15 minutes? Because this is very important. Now, for them, they're gonna get the info they need because they're gonna be calling you later on. Everybody calls about certain things, first payments, supplemental property taxes, etc. But what we wanna do is eliminate those, but more importantly, even though this step seems simple, which is congratulations in a way, and establishing a deeper bond, what's really key about this step and having and setting up the closing call is the closing call is what generates referrals for the next one, two, four, five years. Because everything we've done up to this point is generating referrals during this time frame. We want to ensure that doesn't stop. And that's where your closing call comes into play. And that's why it's so important. So whether you sign in your office as an event, you sign remotely and you follow up and kind of get them excited, you still have to finish both of them with a closing call. So establish that closing call and then you're going to be set for future referrals.